I am so excited to share with you how I DIY this beautiful and glamorous decorative mirror. So stay tuned. Hi guys, it's me, Sharon of Creative Glam. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I'm so glad you stopped by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you come back and tune in. As I said earlier, I am so excited to share with you how I DIY this beautiful and glamorous decorative mirror. You will need a piece of plexiglass or plywood or even MDF board, but just something sturdy for your backing. The measurements on this piece of plexiglass is 32 by 20. And I also used two 12 by 12 inch mirrors, beveled or raw edged, it all depends on what you want. I got my 12 by 12 mirrors from Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to use one that I'm going to turn on the diagonal in the center and that mirror is a six by six mirror. That one is a beveled edge and I got that from Hobby Lobby as well. You will also need some decorative tiles. I got these decorative mirror tiles from Amazon. They come in a pack of 24. I will leave on the screen the amount, um, I will leave on the screen the price that I paid for those. But they come in a pack of 24 and they're about 15 inches long. I'm gonna be using about six of those today. And then you're gonna need some sort of bling wrap or um, a decorative paper. I happen to be using the glitter paper um, by Dump. I, I like this combination. I used it when I made the, uh, I used it in my video for the Neiman Marcus vase dupe. I will link that video up above. Um, it's a pretty good combination. It's quick drying. The the super the Gorilla Glue is quick drying, and the E6000 is that permanent hole that you want. Um, the the fumes though, it gives off some really intense fumes. So make sure you're in a well ventilated area. So, let's get started. I had um, Lowe's cut it to the size that I needed it to be. Okay, so make sure you take the plastic off the plexiglass. And the plastic is on both sides. So I need to flip this over and do it again. I chose to use plexiglass as opposed to plywood or MDF or even a, a foam core board because I wanted you to be able to see through it without I wanted you to be able to see through the decorative mirror tiles they're adhesive on this side I need to pull that off and I can stick it to the plexiglass and then this side I pull the plastic the clear plastic off to reveal the mirrors now the first thing I'm gonna do is position my mirrors I'm gonna lay this on top as to not catch the light from the camera. And I'm gonna position where I position these where I need them to be. So I'm just gonna mark the glass where I want the mirrors to sit. So now we're gonna start gluing. And I always put on gloves because I'm not the neatest person with glue. As you can see, I took the feet off, um, the little pads off the back of each mirror. And I can move this one out of the way. Then I'm going to use the super glue, the Gorilla Super Glue, which helps it to set. Now I'm going to flip this over onto the plexiglass on the um, outline that I have already made. I'm 
And then this is the um, eight by eight beveled mirror. Go at an angle that's gonna go on top. Now I'm going to add my decorative tile around the perimeter of the mirror. So I have to peel the white off the back. Now I've got to do that two, four, six, seven more times. <laughs> Okay guys, that's it. We're all done. I like the way it turned out. What do you think? As I said earlier, I had never worked with these um, adhesive mirrored border tiles before, but I certainly will again. I love the way this turned out. I wanna thank you all so much for sharing a little bit of your time with me. If you enjoyed it too, leave me a comment. I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So make sure you come back and tune in. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!